Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next craft fair idea. This could also be a Christmas in July. If you're doing a Christmas in July swap, it could be an any kind, anytime swap. But I think I'm going to do these for my craft fair. I think it's an extra special treat besides just doing chocolates. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do, and I kind of made um, kind of a template here, is I'm going to make these, and I don't have any pretzels that are wrapped, and so I've got to wait until closer to, to probably October or so to see if I can find the wrapped pretzels, maybe with nuts and pretty stuff all over them. But I just picked up this bag of pretzel rods just to kind of kind of show you what could go in here. Um, once you have it like it, once it's in a cellophane wrap, it's it's gonna fill it up. Now you could even also put like some kind of like like rock candies or something, just anything to that sort. But I think I'm gonna do pretzels, and I think it's something that's different. Um, different that I haven't had at my craft fair as far as like craft fair treats. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I made this box. Now the box is a Pinterest find. I happen to see that on there, but I've kind of kind of altered it and made it my own. So let me just show you what I did. So this is, um, you're going to need a piece of paper and I'm using red and you're going to need it 11 by five and a half. Now on the five and a half side, you need to score it at a half an inch. And then you're gonna score it at two. And then you're gonna score it at three. Oops, get over there at three. And then you're gonna score at four and a half. Okay, so I've got four and a half right here. Okay, so that gives me one and a half inches in here. And then in the center here, it gives you one inch for like the front and back of the box. Actually, let me see here. Yes, it does. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it and on the 11 inch side, score it at a half an inch and then score it at one and a half inches. And then you're gonna score all the way over at 10. Okay? And this is what it, this is what it looks like. Okay, so let's do a little cutting away. So, what you're gonna need to do, and the bottom here is gonna be the flaps for the bottom of your box. So we're gonna cut away this first half inch piece right here. And I'm gonna cut like a little bit on that side of the, you see where I cut it, see there? That's where I'm gonna cut it, and I'm gonna cut them all the same like just a little bit away from that score line up to the point. Do the same thing there so I can get this notch out and see how that is. That's how we're gonna do it. And go up here and cut this one, do the same thing. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cut on this side of the score line. And then the same thing over here. And this last piece, I'm just going to cut it at an angle up toward that next score line. So it's going to look like this, okay? Flip your box around, okay? So we're only going to need, we're only going to need the first three parts, okay? So we're gonna cut, gonna cut the, all the way down to the score line. And you're going to just cut that part off. So now it's looking like this. So on here, we're gonna cut down to the score line and down to the score line. Okay, so this right here is gonna be the flap on the top. It's gonna be this piece right here, okay? So we're gonna leave that. Now these other two pieces, I'm just gonna cut them like in the middle of that score line. Just kinda cut it down and fold that one back. 
and just cut it down, okay? So to for it to be able to kind of fold a little easier, I'm gonna trim off a little bit off the edges. And I'm gonna trim the same thing over here. There we go. So now we've got our we've got the base of our box, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold on my boxes on my score lines for my box. Fold it. And I'm gonna fold. Trace that down. So there we go. Now your box will fit nice and together. But before we put it together, we're going to add our designer series paper. I'm gonna put that to the side for a second. And I'm gonna use this piece right here. It's Let It Snow. And this one, this one is by Doodlebug. Actually, the piece of paper is called Heartwarming, but it's by Doodlebug Designs. And this is the paper collection it came out of, okay? Because my plan is to do this for my craft fair, and I'll need it to be in Christmas paper. Okay, so you're going to need to cut yourself a couple of pieces of designer series paper. So all of your papers are going to be cut at eight and a quarter in length, and then two of them are going to be one and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to do that. Let's go ahead and cut one and a quarter. Make sure I'm getting that straight. Okay, I'm gonna cut that one. I'm gonna cut another one and a quarter. This is gonna be the front and the back designer series paper. And then you're gonna need to cut two of them at three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at three and a quarter. So these are going to be for the sides. The original one that I happened to see on Pinterest, it didn't have any paper on the sides or the back. But I thought it would be good to add it on the sides and the back. Okay. So there, I got myself those two. Now I'm going to cut these all down at eight and a quarter. Okay, so let me get this eight and a quarter. I just want to tell everyone that if you watch my, if you're in my group and you're watching, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Um, it was just an ordinary day for me. I'm just a day older. Um, my husband says we'll celebrate this weekend. It's kind of hard on a weekday. I did go to work today. Um, so we'll do something this weekend. Actually, I'd rather just come in here and just craft. And I haven't been on the last couple of days because my sweet brother and his family were over and they went. Now they're visiting my sister-in-law's uh, mother. So it was good to have them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our designer series paper and I'm going to be putting it in the spaces where they go. So let me grab my glue and I'm just going to use some glue. Hopefully this one is not all clogged up on me. Let me see. Let me try the other one. This one don't want to do it for me. I just used it a while ago too. I might have to get some different glue, y'all. Okay. So let's go get this down. Put your glue. If you want to use tape runner, use tape runner. I'm just going to put this together with glue. Get this down. Okay. Okay, 
piece. So the first piece is going to go in our first wider spot. This is actually the back of the box because this is the back of the flap. Press it down really well. And we're going to do the other ones. One last one. Okay, this is our last one. You don't need to put it on this because this is just the where it's going to adhere together. Okay, those look really good. So you want to make sure it's pressed down really, really well. Okay. Now. Okay, so now that we've got all our cylinder series paper on, now I'm going to add in, we need to put a window. I'm using this slimline die that I have, and I got it at Hobby Lobby. It came out of this collection. You can see which one I'm using. Because you need to make a little window so they can see what the product is. So I'm just going to press this down with some tape so I can make sure it doesn't move and try to get at least a decent cut. Okay, a little piece right down here. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one out. I'll be right back. Okay, so I ran this through my big shot. Get this off carefully. And there we go, I've got a place where my window is gonna be. Save this, you might be able to use it for something else. It could go on a bookmark or something. It'd be pretty cute on a bookmark. Okay, so move that over there. So now what you're gonna need is a piece of acetate to put up inside here. So you have a, like a little clear window. Let me find my piece of acetate I have here. And I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is just kind of measure and see how big I want it. And I want to make sure it's just right up inside. I'm just going to take it and kind of trim just like this. And I'm going to take my trimmer, turn this off. There's like a film, and this is actually Cricut acetate. I always buy the Cricut sheets. Sometimes I've got them like in a the mystery box, the Cricut mystery box. And by the way, there's a new Cricut mystery box. Check out Jennifer Maker's um, webpage, and she has a link. It's all kinds of beautiful purples. I didn't order it yet. I'm contemplating. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is going to lay right down here. My piece is just a little bit long. I'm going to trim it off a little bit because I just need to cover the window. Okay. So it's going to go like that. So let me add my glue going around. down okay okay and 
this will dry clear. I was just trying to keep it from spreading all over the acetate. As you can see, there's our window. So that's looking good. Now I'm gonna take oh, I have my tape. I have some tape out here. Let me see if I can grab some tape. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, I am using this. I think this is a quarter inch. I'm gonna give my strip of tape, myself a strip there. And then I'm gonna take, flip this over. And you can kind of measure, you can see that this, if you fold it over, it really kind of fits right up in there. So if you peel this off, just fold it over like that. Now you have your sweet box formed. Okay, now you're gonna, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the bottom and you're gonna fold them up inside of each other just like this, okay? So I'm just gonna add some glue. And I'm just gonna hold it down a little bit. Get that bottom sealed. These are gonna go here, okay? So if your box doesn't fold, if it doesn't, if it kinda hinders you be, from being able to fold it good, just kinda take it and kinda trim the edges. I'm gonna do the same for this one. And one more. Just trim it a little bit more there. Okay, so that way then it folds down in here a little better. And this right here, this little flap on the end, I'm gonna trim it a little bit too. Okay. Just like this, okay? So there is our box. Now it will, once I, once the holidays come, I'll be able to find the pretzel rods in the, in the clear packaging. Because you don't want to put it, and if you have enough room for two, put two in there. I think it'd be cute. But I just bought these just so you could kind of see what it would look like with a product in there. Okay? So now, I, all you're going to do from here is you're just going to decorate it. I would make a little tag that says... Um, maybe um, pretzel rods or Christmas treats or something like that and just take it and I'm just gonna probably you know I usually add twine wrap it around and I'm not going to do all the decorating I just wanted to show you the basics and you know you can just wrap it around make a little sweet Bow. You can put any, anything in here that you want. You don't have to use pretzel. You can do a little bow on here. Let me see if I can do a better one than that. I'm just going to kind of just kind of leave it just kind of show you. And I would just add a little tag on it, and that's it. What a sweet little Christmas box this is. These are going to be my Christmas uh, Christmas pretzel treats is what I'm going to call them. I will come back when I've finished them all and show you all how I decorated everything. But I think it's a super sweet box, and I think it will house some pretty cute little things. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Thanks for stopping by my channel, and I'll, I'll be back soon with my next idea. Love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.